Indeed, Taylor. So after our flower episode, we've managed to find some elephant and a wonderful herd at that. Um, now there is a big, big bull off to the left. You can see him just hiding behind those trees there. Um, but he is um, he is in must, serious must. Now we know that's when the males have a lot of testosterone moving through their body. And um, they can sometimes be a little aggressive, but look at those beautiful tusks. So a big male like this is in this herd, particularly looking for, probably trying to find a female that's in estrus that's ready to mate. Now they sweat, the males will sweat from their temporal glands, and you will see it when he turns his head again. And also they'll drip from between their legs. Um, their back legs uh, from the penis they, they secrete a lot of liquid and that is provides a very very pungent smell and that is the, I mean this this male is in in heavy must but it's wonderful we've got from that big bull off to the left to this little baby to the right have a look at that isn't that great so the whole side the whole spectrum of the elephant family <laughs> very very cute love seeing these little elephant they're very curious and they often very playful trying to learn how to use their, their trunks Uh, there, there are two bulls here, in fact, in this, this little group. There's another one off to the middle over here. That one through there. He is also a, um, a bull, a younger bull. Not as big as this one who is in must. He seems to be coming a little bit closer to us. I'm just going to watch him again. Remember, I said they... Uh, they they can sometimes be a little bit aggressive when they are in must these big males but I think it's just about watching their behavior very closely he's not showing any signs of aggression at the moment that flapping of the ears that he's doing now he's doing it slowly he's doing it to cool himself he's got beautiful tusks it's wonderful light on him now too. And there's a female approaching us from behind. I think she just wants to get these little ones past us. This is, this is really, really great. Wow, look at this, everyone. The bushes come alive with elephant. There's the whole herd coming through now. They've come out of nowhere, just through the back. There must be another 10 or 15 elephant coming through at the moment. Oh, this is really, really great. Hope all of you are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm going to try and sit here for as long as possible. I will keep an eye on these elephant, but I'm just going to sit very, very still. And the rest seem very calm. It's just this male that I'm going to watch very closely. Now just remember, if you are a bit inexperienced with elephant, the best is to just give them their space, let them walk past. Oh my word, there's a tiny baby coming through, very close to us, just off through the grass, look at that, tiny, tiny little one. Oh my word, this is amazing.
just watching this bull closely as he walks behind us. Oh, amazing. He seems very relaxed with us. Now, Anna Marie, the, sometimes the scent of an elephant can stay here for quite some time. It can stay in the area. Look at that little baby. Isn't that cute? So especially this must bull. His scent may remain in the area of, I wouldn't say too long, but maybe a few hours. I'm just going to keep my voice down. These others will hopefully come a bit closer. Look at this. Look how close they are. Isn't this great? As I was saying, if you are a bit inexperienced with viewing elephant and you're a little bit nervous, there's nothing wrong with that. Rather give yourself some space, give the elephant space to move past. But the best thing to do is switch your vehicle off, sit quietly and allow them to move past. And usually if the elephants choose to move up to, towards you, they'll be a lot more relaxed. And here comes another little bull through here. Sometimes these younger bulls do um, get a bit um, testy, if you can call it. Have a look right here next to us. These bigger females are protecting that little one. Look how tiny that little one is. So Lance, the, the tusks, the tusks are not necessarily considered teeth, I'd, I'd say, but they, they, they're made of ivory. Um, now the, the teeth are not made of ivory, the teeth, um, as far as I know, now as I stand to correction, Lance, maybe we'll just we'll double check that. Let me double check that for you, um, when when I get back to the camp, and I'll have an answer for you a little bit later. But the tusks, they they um, I don't know if they. You know what? I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to uh, um, take a guess and and risk being wrong. Let me double check that for you, Lance, because I'm not entirely sure. But those, those tusks I know are made of ivory. And then yeah, that little baby looks very, very young. That little one looks about just less than a year old, maybe six months, six months old. What a fantastic elephant sighting. We were completely surrounded by that herd now. Uh, everything from one huge, huge must bull elephant with massive tusks to a tiny six month old baby. And not once did we feel threatened. They didn't feel threatened. That's the most important thing is that the animals don't feel threatened or feel in any danger. They were completely happy with moving past us and as you could see they're still in this area isn't that wonderful I think we're going to leave them now it was such a nice sighting and moving off down through the thicket why don't we carry on back towards Juma let's head back to Taylor with those lions <laughs> 